what is up you guys and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly this Yarender and today we have ourselves a match against my neighboring countryman Sal from Norway uh, he's a very very good battler he's one of those battlers that are very good at composing um, how to put it a team that are underwhelming but still the um, synergy as a team are very very strong and he always gets me because of that. He's very good at checking me and he's very good at actually in time counter me and annihilate me. So I'm always, you know, really, really scared going up against him. And this was definitely one of those battles where he got me for a while there. So um, anyway, he got me Genium, Tyrant, Raichu, Beautifly, Simple, and Primeape. And of course, Primeape is the biggest threat because it could take on pretty much anything on my team besides Slurpuff. And uh, I myself using Gola, Galactavaya, Cabotops, Heatmore, uh, Slap of course, and uh, Tropius. And it's not the defensive set Tropius, it is a sweeping set with 252 in speed. So it's it's very limited, it's not that bulky and uh, not as strong either, to be honest. But, you know, it's a niche. Uh, I like using it like this. Of course, it's, it has clear limits, but still, I love it. Uh, other than that, guys, you know, as I said uh, earlier in my video, um, I have trouble, you know, uploading stuff because, well, I am super busy at work at the moment. But don't worry, though. After the next week that's come here, um, after that, I'm going to be much more available and by default going to try to be able to upload much more battles and also introduce the new team that I've been working on that I'm sadly, while it is constructed, it is not battle-ready. Um, so, yeah, other than that, just guys if you want to reach me or just chat with me or just hang out please check me out on twitter uh i do tend to be there a lot so go do that so that let's actually get to the game so i did decide to start off with goler because i knew i could tackle almost anything with it and he will decide to go with primate and i know primate can pack ice punch so that's a real deal really and uh, i know he can't oko me so i'm just gonna go for brain punch he actually go for u-turn which shows me that either he did predict me to switch out or that it's just stopped and it's going to ship damage. And of course, the drain punch will not do anything. I mean, that is that is very, very underwhelming, to be honest. And <laughs> I'm forced, is, uh, forced to switch out. I did expect him to go for a lead seat here, and I'm just going to go for my Tropius because Tropius can actually deal with Meganium really well. Uh, they are, you know, very similar in their stats, to be honest. And uh, I definitely thought that he might be forced to switch out there and go into his Simipole, hoping me to go for Dragon Dance or Elite Seed. So I went for Leaf Blade, and that pays off really well. Sadly, due to Tropius' um, underwhelming strength, to be honest, I do not take it out. And I do expect the Ice Punch coming here, or the Ice Beam, of course. And uh, my Electivire don't take it well because of Life Orb. But he is forced to switch out if want to or sack it. So I just went for Volt Switch, you know, because either way will actually benefit me real well. He'll go to his Raptor and uh, Reptar. And uh, Volt Switch, of course, doesn't do anything, but it's better than nothing. So I'm just gonna go to my Optimus Prime here and uh, try to take it out. Just go for Dragon Dance, which is terrifying, to be honest. And I myself went for a Dream Punch instead of Earthquake. And in hindsight, Earthquake might have been a better option because it does live. And the Crunch is actually able to take me out because of Strong Jaw, and that is just damn it. <laughs> I should definitely have gone for the Earthquake, and that really, really sucks for me. Same way Flash is coming in here, I do have my Sash intact, so I'm just gonna go for a Sword Stance. He decides to switch out, which, you know, I don't mind that at all, actually. And, um, like I said, I still have my Sash intact, so I'm just gonna go for another Sword Stance. And, you know, getting that attack up really well. And he's gonna go for a counter, hoping for me to attack him with a knockoff. And, of course, that is not what I'll do. And I'm just gonna another sword stance. And he'll force to go for energy ball, of course, you know, taking me down to my sash, finally. And, um, I must say this. Meganium is one tough son of a bitch. Look at this. Look at this. That is max attack, cabot tops with a 130 base. <laughs> knock off and it didn't kill it is close sure but it didn't kill that is <laughs> that is terrifying so anyway i did see this as a golden opportunity for me to set up a dragon dance you guys decide to try to sack off his uh, reptar and um, yeah 
that is not gonna happen. So I did see this a golden opportunity to actually keep setting up Dragon Dances because I knew I had to have three Dragon Dances up if I wanted to outspeed a primary wit and um, if it had an ice punch because I knew I can take it out at the range that that it is in. So I just go for the last Dragon Dance really because Rockstar did not do that much. And um, yeah, that might be a little riskier because it does more this time, but I do survive and I do get the harvest up. And uh, yeah, I'm just recovering really, so Tropius is doing it. So I go for another Roost here just to, you know, recover as much as possible. You go for another Rock Slide, of course. And uh, now when the weakness is off, I do not take as much damage. And to be honest, had he had an Ice Fang, I would, I would have paid dearly for this. So I missed the Rock Slide and I'm able to finish off with max HP and three Dragon Dances behind me. So that should be more than well to deal with the Mike Tyson, which with by this range is Scarfed of course. But like I said, I only needed 3 Dragon Dances to be in 500 speed and by that to be able to take it out. To so go to this German here, did not expect me to have Earthquake and of course I will be able to finish it off. But that means one thing, that his Beauty Fly is uh, actually somewhat in great range because the Leaf Play will do one third of his HP. Uh, so you go for a Quiver Dance here, uh, try to set up because he can actually you know, deal with me properly here and uh, I go for leaf play there hoping to get a crit or anything because I actually get really scared and here's the bug bus and um, yeah this I was so sure I couldn't take it I was really sure of that and I live with 6 HP and get the citrus off so yeah and of course the harvest is back on track and I'll actually be able to get a 2 citrus healings in a row and of course pull off the last leaf play, which will be the last nail in the coffin for this beautiful fly. Had he gone for two quiver dances, he might actually have been able to turn this around because I don't think I could have dealt with uh, beauty fly at that range. So yeah, this will actually be GG because Mgenium can of course take any damage there and his last poke is the semi four, which is in a very bad health and we will actually be able to finish it off. Very good problem here. So yeah. I don't think too many people have seen Sweep with the Dragon Dance Tropius, so yeah, this is how it looks like. It, it's hard to pull off, it's damn hard to pull off, it's so many things that need to be required for anything like that to happen. So GG Sal, and uh, yeah, think for this game, I'm sorry for that finish. So yeah, as you guys saw, there were actually a lot of things that work in my favor for my victory here. And to be very honest here, uh, Sally would have been in a much better position had to bring the Beautifly from the start up there before I was able to set up or gone for two bug buses in a row. Because I am pretty sure that my Slurpuff wouldn't been able to take it out. Because I actually have a huge problem against Quibidan, so very very lucky on my side. And uh, yeah, I'm very glad to you know be able to showcase Tropius with uh, as a sweeper poke, it obviously doesn't work like that, but I'm glad that this battle proved it differ. Of course, it's <laughs> it is not something to rely on. I would I would have done it for the world if it weren't for such a unique set, and I really like using it like that. Of course, got it limits, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I sure as hell did. And all that, guys, you know, have a good night and take care, guys. Right, mm, bye.